You're tuned in to the Restaurant Rockstars Podcast. Powerful ideas to rock your restaurant. Here's your host, Roger Bodwin. Welcome to the Restaurant Rockstars Podcast, engaging topics that help restaurants build their brands, rock their profits, and deliver amazing guest service experiences. You know, technology is constantly moving forward, and I get that when you're running restaurants, you've got a thousand details to concentrate on, but you know, not every system out there will automate your entire restaurant, but today I'm super excited to introduce Mr. John Moody because he has just such a product that will really literally make things so simple for you to run your front of house and your back of house. It is super cool. Now, I met John at the National Restaurant Association show a couple of weeks ago, and John, I saw you in your booth, and you had the coolest booth that just kind of drew me in because... First of all, you guys were all dressed like you're super laid back, you're wearing vans, you were super approachable, super engaging, but you had really large monitors that really made it simple for you know anyone interested in this product to really just kind of walk them through it, which was really so, so cool. We sat down, you demonstrated how this product works and how it literally automates all the functions with one simple system. And I thought to myself, God, every restaurant need this. So why don't I ask you, um, where first, where did the idea for Restaurant 365 come from, and how did the product come to market? Yeah, yeah. So um, glad, glad to be with you here today. A uh, little bit of background. Um, so I, I worked in restaurants as a teenager and through high school and college off and on. Um, but my background and my passion was always in technology. Um, I was always kind of a gadget guy. I liked software. My career took me into software, and for long time I was just in technology, uh, building custom software solutions on top of uh, generic platforms and uh, really came to the realization that the, the multi-unit restaurant market space was very underserved. We, we actually, my business partner had a meeting with a 30-year restaurant veteran and he was, he was looking for a solution that didn't exist. Uh, the the landscape of, of restaurant software was uh, very pointed or siloed. Um, there were inventory tools, there were recipe costing tools, mm -hmm. there were spreadsheets that did di different pieces. Um, some of those solutions were very good, but they went very deep in kind of a single area. And, uh, you know, we, we talked to this restaurant uh, CFO and a number of other restaurant groups and, and really saw that this market was underserved that there was this chasm between QuickBooks and Excel spreadsheets on sort of the lower end and then very expensive custom software solutions for the for the big boys. And so there's this, this big chasm in the middle um, of software that was uh, either too expensive or too complex for the small and medium sized groups. And um, really from a solution perspective, we took a different approach. We, we identified these back office, as we called them, or partial back office tools that did an inventory or did scheduling or did recipes and did them well. But at the end of the day, our mindset coming from a broader business solution was, well, where does all this information, where do all these dollars end up? And for us, that was in an accounting system. And the challenge with generic accounting systems is they don't handle restaurant businesses very well. Things like a 13 four week calendar, uh, things like intercompany processing, um, things like a uh, vendor request for an invoice that you may have been shorted on, like these little things that are all you know nuances from an accounting perspective. And where does all this, whether it's recipe information, inventory counts, point of sale sales data, point of sale labor data, where does all of that end up? Well, it ends up in accounting. And so we said, we're gonna start from an accounting and then grow out of that. So we built restaurant accounting software from the ground up and then added on these other key pieces like like inventory and scheduling and recipe costing. Now that is so cool because you know I ran restaurants for 20 years as you know John and I was really really hands-on with all those individual functions and it's one of the reasons why I succeeded 
but I really had manual systems and I wasn't really aware of your product, but I don't believe it existed, you know, over two years ago when I sold my restaurants. But had I known about this, I would have instantly, you know, jumped all over it. Now you mentioned you've got accounting systems, you've got inventory, product costing, labor scheduling, you know, back office, just total management system. So can you explain the nuts and bolts of how it works? I know, you know, the listeners are probably thinking, you know, there's a learning curve to this and you showed me how simple it really is. So can you just talk about, you know, the nuts and bolts of how all these systems come together for a restaurant and maybe what that learning curve of that trans- transition looks like? Yeah, sure. And, and, and to even piggyback on where you were, right? You know, when you have a single restaurant or maybe even a few restaurants, a couple, you can still do the management that you did, right? But once you, once we see our, our prospects and clients at really three units, that's where our system's a no-brainer. Yes, we do have single unit restaurants on our system, but at three units, you can't be in every restaurant every day. You have to trust other people with your data, with your dollars, right? And so for us, um, really from a nuts and bolts perspective, it all starts with accounting. And so we make the transition very easy from someone's current accounting system. We, we came into the mindset of Restaurant 365 as it needs to be as easy as QuickBooks, but give you all the power and function that a true mid-market accounting or ERP system should give you. Greater level of control, greater level of security, better reporting. And so that's where we want to always make it easy to use but also have these powerful features that allow companies to grow and scale. When we had one of our fast casual pizza concepts, they came to us with nine units. They're now at 90 units. And so we've been able to grow and scale with them. And so for us, the nuts and bolts is really into the dollars. And so as, as part of an overall solution, we have these core modules that track all the do- dollars, whether it's a sales dollar, an inventory dollar, a labor dollar. But there's four key integrations that we do to make all of this work together. We integrate with banks, we integrate with food vendors, we integrate with your point of sale, and we integrate with a payroll processor. Those are things that we don't do because those pieces are are really standalone. And that point of sale integration is key for us. We've got now 30 point of sale integrations, all the major players in the restaurant space, to make it very easy to pull all of that data every day from each restaurant into Restaurant 365. And so for some of our multi-concept groups where they've got two or three or even four different point of sale systems, they had no other way to even aggregate that data until they found us, not only from a reporting perspective, but also from an accounting perspective. Now, you and I talked about all these individual functions, and a lot of restaurants hire them out to individual contracting companies, whether they be payroll, what have you. But now, for one literal literal so- solution, you're combining all of these things, and you're saving companies money by doing so, because you don't have individual invoices to four or five different suppliers of these systems or these, you know, these functions. You've got a one-stop shop. So I thought that was really, really tremendous. So let me understand a little bit more the setup in the average restaurant. Let's just say a restaurant has two, maybe three locations, and there's a manager in each location. You've got an owner who now wants to keep tabs on all those places. So how long before they're comfortable with the main system functions of Restaurant 365? Yeah, great question. So we've really streamlined that process. One of the things that even looking at other point solutions or silo solutions in the marketplace is some of them were, were even overly complex. And so instead of going, you know, six inches wide and a mile deep into inventory, what do restaurants really need to do from an inventory perspective? How, how are they in actuality going to be, be using the, the system? And so for us, we've, we've really streamlined the accounting setup, the inventory setup, and the scheduling setup, and then reporting that overlays all of that. We've really streamlined that. And so we, we have a 30-day ramp up from when you get started to actually going live with that. And so there's some core setup that happens. We connect to the point of sale. There's some data map that goes on. But very quickly, the online training begins. And even pieces that are non-financial, like scheduling, that can start right away. We don't have to wait for the financial cutover. And so a manager can get into it really just a couple days after sign up. And, and they're, they're working on their schedule already in Restaurant 365. Now, down the road, once their financial system is in there, they're going to use that financial data to help build their budgets and their forecasts to then make their schedules against that. But that 30-day ramp-up time is very important to uh, make that efficient. Now, we don't set someone up and then at 30 days, we just sort of push them and say, okay, you did your cutover, bye. 
the, the same uh, um, onboarding consultant that, that helped them through that implementation setup in the beginning beautiful carries with them for another 30 to 45 days after and that because they help them set it up they're, they're the easiest person to answer the question hey I'm, I have a question about my inventory this way and they're the person that that really helps them through that po- what we call post go live or post financial cutover yes. support to really make these restaurant groups successful I remember that process when I purchased my first POS system, and that's really kind of intimidating because you've got to plug in all your menu items, you've got to price things correctly, categorize them, and yes, I had a, a very dedicated rep that made that painless, so it's great to know that you've got a similar setup going. So inventory was probably, or is definitely, one of the most time-consuming, laborious processes in a restaurant. And for me, you know, you'd have to go through and take all the manual counts, you'd have to make sure that things were accurate, and it was even more difficult with the liquor. But now you can do this from a handheld device and just simply click it off, right? Is that correct? That's right, right, on two fronts. So we had, our application is web-based, runs in a browser, so you can always do a stock count there. But most of our clients now are using our mobile app to do the count right on the device. And for us, because this is not just an inventory tool, but it's a full back office and accounting tool, is that that count is done by the manager or assistant manager or some person in the store at the, at the, at the restaurant location. They just do it right on their device. They click count complete, that now is sitting in Restaurant 365 as an unapproved financial journal entry. It doesn't have to pass through different spreadsheets and uploads. It's now in the system as an unapproved journal entry with all the financial adjustments because we're the same system that controls all of the costs. The invoices go in for the food invoices. My food costs are automatically updated. I don't have to worry, hey, is my food costs or my, my stock count spreadsheet, does it have the right costs on it based on what I paid for my bread or my be for you know what have you last week oh that's that, right that's all it's all in real time and your prices are constantly updated as your prices change on your invoices so it makes it that's right. super super accurate i think you know that's just incredible so super cool and now let's talk about pos systems now you work with a wide variety of the leading pos suppliers but you're adding new companies all the time yep 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 broad broad list there all the big guys as you'd expect uh, Aloha, Micros, those were obviously two of the, the big players in the space. But, you know, there's been a lot of new entrants over the last, uh, you know, four or five years we've been doing Restaurant 365. And, and we're somewhat selective of, of kind of who we choose to integrate with. But really, if there's a restaurant group that, that is using a point of sale system and they're very happy with it, then then we can build new ones in, in really just, you know, a week or so. It's, it's a very fast process now because we've really nailed down our engine and how it connects and, and the data that we pull. One, one other thing on the point of sale integration is we're different from other uh, back office or even accounting systems that try and connect or pull some of that point of sale data. Typically, they're pulling that summary data into Restaurant 365 where we're pulling in all of the sales ticket detail, both the sales and the payment side of that. So we have all of that for business analysis. So when you want to compare taco sales at one store to another store, all of that that, that data is there. And so we have all of that um, in there, that, which are the details of ultimately the debit and credit for the daily sales journal entry. So that is like, I would call that turnkey technology, right? At the press of a button, you've got access to all the key critical information, whether you have one store, three stores, or 90 stores, and you can compare locations, you can you know, compare your labor scheduling, your labor costs, your food and beverage costs, everything you need to do is all right there integrated with your POS system, and you make it simple for restaurants. That's incredible. So I also understand on your website, you actually have a free demo where if any restaurant is interested in just seeing how this works and to get a feel for it, you can give them a little test drive, can't you? Yeah, for sure. We we have two approaches. One, our our pre-recorded online demos where they sort of self-paced, they can go through that. But we're happy to engage and have the conversation in a live web demo scenario where we talk about the challenges or, or really list out all the spreadsheets and business systems that they may be using and then how that is brought together in Restaurant 365 um, and, and really show the application. We, we've also got a lot of, um, like I said, videos and screenshots on our website. We, we really actively promote what it looks like. We don't sort of hide you know, what it looks like. It, we, we, we are open kimono, if you will, on what, what the system does on both our website and our, our training site. 
Well, as a restaurateur and operator, when I sat down with you, and we literally sat down for about 15 or 20 minutes, but I was absolutely blown away. And we went function by function, and it really was that simple and so easy to understand. And But it just completely automated everything. So I, again, it's like, if only I had this 20 years ago for the 20 years I ran restaurants, it's like, whoa, what that would have done. Time saving, money saving, aggravation. I mean, this is the business of a thousand details. You really do have so many things to focus on. And if you can take right. away that critical part and just, you know, save that time alone, but yet have the data at your fingertips, why wouldn't you want that? So I would recommend everyone to go to the website, and it's restaurant365.com. That's the URL. You can check it out, get more information on the product there, and take a demo, you know, and, and just see for yourself what this can do to transform your business. John, why don't we talk about the pricing model? We, always, we already talked about how, you know, a lot of restaurants out there have lots of different functions that they, you know, contract out that's costing them a certain amount of money. But you've got one, you know, simple solution at a certain price per month. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure, sure. So it's a, a monthly service. There's no hardware to buy. There's no software to install. It runs inside of a browser or you download the, the free mobile app to access the inventory uh, stock count functions, uh, mobile reporting and scheduling functionality um, on a per location basis. That's typically how it, a lot of these restaurant software pieces are priced. Yes. It's on a per location basis. Um, it varies anywhere from 275 and then scales down to, to maybe $200 a month, depending on the modules that you're going to use. and and um, how large you are. And so you get economies of scale, obviously, as you as you grow. And so when you think about, you know, spending money on a, on a, a scheduling application, on a separate recipe costing tool, on a financial application, on a business analytics or reporting engine, on, you know, financial reports, uh, a lot of times those are, you know, three, four, five, six different applications. Right. And, you know, I was talking with a, a point of sale partner the other day and they're like, yeah, I have a customer. I just did a quick analysis. They're spending over seven hundred dollars a month on six different pieces of software that they didn't even know they were spending on. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we, we feel our, our price is very compelling for what it provides. And um, you know, we, we we try to make it scalable even down to the to the single unit, so they can sort of play with the bigger guys and have a great solution. And right down to the bookkeeper, they then have to deal with seven different invoices, which takes more time and costs the restaurant more money. Right. So it just right. simplifies everything. I think that's terrific, John. That's awesome. So restaurants, you can get the free demo and learn more about this amazing system at restaurant365.com. Software.com. Yeah, rest, oh, I'm restaurant sorry. 365 softwarecom Oh, I had it completely wrong. My mistake. So once again, I want to make that clear. Restaurant365software.com. You'll get the free demo. You'll learn everything about the product. And uh, that's that's just fantastic. So, John, anything else you want to tell us about Restaurant 365 that we haven't covered? Um, really, that we're not resting on our laurels. We, we feel like we've got a great solution in the marketplace, but we're, we're continuously innovating. We're listening to our customers. We're adding additional functionality. We've got a version two of our catering module coming out this month. We're super excited about to really streamline that. And, you know, who has a catering system integrated with their accounting system? I've Nobody else does specifically no. for restaurants. But at the end of the day, isn't catering an invoice ultimately that needs to get paid and managed through the, through the accounting process? And so that event management piece, right, which has a scheduling component to it as well, that's where it all comes together because we do scheduling and we do the invoicing. Well, catering is just an invoice that has a scheduled event, right? right? right. And so... Um, the other the other thing I want to make mention of is just the the uh, AP automation side that we have. So the, the ability to to process paper invoices, the ability to take a picture of that invoice at the store level, send it right into the system, and now it's a it's an invoice ready to be processed in Restaurant 365. Our financial reports and operational reports that are prepackaged. We've got our our custom dashboard and reporting solution to build whatever type of reports you want, but we have 80 out-of-the-box restaurant reports that really help restaurant groups see and, and manage their business more clearly. They don't have to go build all these reports. They can take them and, and expand them further if they want to, but these standard reports have really been driven by our restaurant experts and more appropriately even by our customer base 
that they have given us feedback on, hey, I want one more column that does this and, and help me with, with uh, this type of report. And that goes into our development schedule. So getting back to my original comment, we don't rest on our laurels. Continuous innovation is, is very important to us. That's one of the things I found really impressive. And you walked me through all the new tools that have since recently come online in my in my demo and I'm like that's fantastic because yeah the restaurant business is dynamic it's constantly shifting and as restaurant operators are getting involved in catering and so many are and they're looking for new profit centers and they're trying to expand their businesses and and it just gets overwhelming because if you've got one restaurant with a thousand details suddenly you've got multiple restaurants with thousands of details and now you can take the vast majority of these details and just kind of streamline it into one detail. That is the key that I want everyone to get here. And Restaurant 365 software certainly does that. So there you have it, rock stars. Check out restaurant365software.com. John, thanks for joining me today. Stay tuned for more. That's the Restaurant Rockstars podcast. We'll have more exciting guests, more exciting products. But this one, you really got to take a look at. So go to restaurant365software.com. And John, I'll see you next time. Thanks, Roger. Thanks for listening to the Restaurant Rockstars podcast. For lots of great resources, head over to restaurantrockstars.com. And while you're there, download a copy of the book, Rock Your Restaurant. It's a game changer. See you next time.